Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So new Star Wars Battlefront trailer just revealed what we're going to be blowing our money on in November. And yes, it does have DLC that will tie in with Episode 7. So important stuff first. I know everyone wants to know, like, how is this going to tie in with Episode 7 when it's all original trilogy stuff in here? Like we see Darth Vader. Clearly he's going to be dead in Episode 7. Here's the deal. So the Episode 7 DLC is going to be the Battle of Jakku. That's the new planet that we're going to see in Episode 7. The one with the, the down Star Destroyer here. Connecting the dots, you can surmise that the Empire lost the battle, Star Destroyer crashed on the planet. The game itself is out November 17th. That's when you'll be able to play it. If you pre-order the game, you get access to the DLC December 1st, but everybody else will get access to it December 8th, so you'll be able to play it no matter what. And it will be free content, but you, I mean, obviously you have to buy the game to get it. Once we get through the trailer, I'll explain what's going on with EA and games based on the new trilogy. So we start on Endor, and like I said, you know, most of these maps are taken from the original trilogy. For the most part, the game's lifted from the original Battlefront game, so, you know, if you really like those, you're really gonna like this. But EA married it to their new game engine, so it's an optimized experience for, like, the new connected streaming HD world of video games today. Whenever the first Battlefront games came out, YouTube was a brand new thing. Nowadays, the social experience of games has gotten really meta, so this just takes advantage of that. Even though we're on Endor, I don't really know what the presence of Ewoks is going to be. I imagine they'll be in there somewhere. There were a lot of things that they didn't reveal. It's still in a pre-alpha stage. All the actual gameplay that they showed off at Star Wars Celebration is pre-alpha stuff. So we can't post that on YouTube yet. This is all taken from a PlayStation 4, but the, the actual character models will be pretty close to this. We're in that age of gameplay when the, the quality of cutscenes and actual gameplay is getting closer and closer. Speeder bike chase, very familiar. And here's the big WTF, Darth Vader popping his lightsaber. What's going to happen is, is Darth Vader will be like an in-game power-up available to players. They didn't, they didn't really announce what the specifics of that are, only that he will be available. Probably with some other original trilogy characters too, based on which faction you're playing. Here we are in another very familiar place. This is Planet Hoth. This X-Wing Canyon runs obviously from Tatooine. If anybody remembers Rebel Assault, they had like the hardest canyon run in that game. I died so many times. That was actually a DOS game. Who remembers that? Yay for nostalgia. Here's Boba Fett, one of the other power-ups in the game. I like the fact that there's a Jawa sand crawler in the background, just like putzing along, like no big deal. These scenes are taken from the Imperial Shipyards on Solust. It's one of the bigger new locations that they brought into the game. And yes, this will be available when the game is released. It won't be like DLC that you'll have to get later. Yay for Millennium Falcon, another power-up in the game. A lot of the power-ups will probably also be based on which map you're playing. So like I said, you will still get that Battle of Jakku DLC for free whenever the game's released, but if you want it a week early, you have to pre-order the game. They haven't announced all their special editions too, but typically they'll release like a special edition with an art book. That's pretty standard operating procedure for like the really big games nowadays. Because it's EA though, you probably won't be able to buy it in Steam. You'll probably have to buy it through EA's servers if you want to buy a digital download. So now you're all asking, like, what's going on with games based on the new trilogy, Episode 7, 8, and 9? Because they're going to be making cartoons, all kinds of stuff for this new trilogy. Of course they're going to be making video games. Lucasfilm signed a 10-year deal with EA to develop games based on its IP. So all the Star Wars games you see for the next 10 years will be EA games. This Star Wars Battlefront game is actually part of the reason that they scrapped the Star Wars 1313 project. That bounty hunter Boba Fett game that they were making that everyone loved so much. As you can imagine, Disney, Lucasfilm, EA want to start off on a really strong financial foot, so they're going with a franchise that they know fans will buy. A lot of the big franchises chase trends, so you don't see them taking as many chances with small indie games. So for now, most of the games will be chasing like the really, really big titles like Destiny, Call of Duty, you can imagine. I know everyone's hoping for a new installment based on Jedi characters. That will come, but it's probably going to take a little bit. Typically, games are released during the Christmas shopping season. All the Star Wars movies are going to be released in December. So every time a new Star Wars movie comes out, expect a new really big game. So in related news, there's a couple more videos that I'm working on in the, in the next day or two. There's a new trailer for The Flash that's pretty crazy. So I'm going to add that to my Flash and Arrow Q&A. That'll be the next video that I post. And I'll, I'll talk about the Batman vs. Superman League. I know everyone wants to talk about that trailer. I can't post anything about it just because it's super illegal. Like it's getting pulled down all over the place. Then I'll be working on some new Daredevil, so be sure to subscribe to get all that stuff. I'm going to try and get it all out before Game of Thrones on Sunday. So while you guys wait for all that stuff to drop, you can click here to re-watch the Star Wars Episode 7 trailer three or four more times. And you can click here for all my Marvel videos. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.